It sat languishing for years, but a mothballed mine in Tasmania's west is now back up and running. The new operators are pinning their hopes on the growing demand for minerals to make electric vehicles. Coming out of the darkness for the first time in 13 years. We've had a crew of miners and mill workers and maintainers gradually bringing it back to life and today was the day that we declared the mine open again. The Avebury mine on Tasmania's west coast has had a troubled history. It only ever operated for nine months and has been stuck in care and maintenance since nickel prices crashed in the late 2000s. Multiple owners haven't been able to make it viable but there's a promise it's different this time. It probably started at the wrong time in the past. Um, they began right at the beginning of the global financial crisis. The optimism here is largely thanks to increasing demand for electric vehicles. Nickel is one of the main materials in an EV battery. With the mega trends that are happening around the world in terms of the shift to um, batteries, the shift to uh, zero carbon uh, production, uh, we are in Tasmania in a moment in the sun. I'm about 200 metres below the surface and soon electric vehicles could be used here. The mine is committed to replacing its diesel underground machinery like this one with battery electric equipment. More than 150 workers are now on the books Another 50 are due to join soon. The new faces are being welcomed in the nearby town of Zeehan. Locals wise, I think, you know, they've been hurt so many times with, you know, the hopes go high and then things fall over. Um, but I think this time, I think, I think they're on a winner. The mine could ship around 40,000 tonnes a year, with the first shipment due to depart soon. Monty Boval, ABC News, Zeehan.